So a really common request that I get is someone will say like, hey, I've got two images and I want to interpolate between them. Can I do that with style GAN? Should you do it with something else? And like, my answer is always just sort of like, I don't really know that a GAN or like an ML model is really like the best tool for that in terms of like image generation from in, from two images you have. But actually, I think one of the cool things that is becoming more and more common is actually like using ML to do exactly that, to interpolate between two different images. So today we're going to look at a model called Film. Um, good luck trying to Google that one. Um, it's essentially a frame interpolation model. Um, and you could also think about these as a way to slow down video. So we'll talk about that in just a minute. Um, so there's been a couple of these tools that have existed for a minute. There's one called Super Slow Mo. There's another one called RIFE. Um, and the, the reality is that while I think they're like slightly better than just like pixel interpolation, um, a lot of them aren't really nearly as nearly like anywhere near as good as you would assume they would be using machine learning. Uh, but actually, I think film is actually one of the first ones I've seen that I'm sort of like kind of proud or like kind of excited by seeing what's happening. Um, so we'll take a look at how to use this instead of hugging face. Um, so this will also be my first hugging face spaces demo. Um, and I'll talk a little bit about why I want to use hugging face a little bit more going forward. Um, but yeah, so like first off, let's just get started with trying this. So um, frame interpolation, uh, this particular notebook, or this, I guess it's kind of a notebook, it's called uh, Hugging Face Spaces. Um, it was actually, uh, this was built by AK. If you don't know AK on Twitter, I um, highly recommend that you follow them because they post a ton of really cool new ML models. Um, but I believe they might work at Hugging Face or at uh, what used to be called Gradio and now is Hugging Face. Um, but they build a bunch of these tools, uh, like these sort of Hugging Face spaces. So thanks to him for building this. Um, so this one is actually really straightforward, pretty easy to, to get used to. Um, literally, you upload two images, and it tries to interpolate between them. So I'm just going to upload two images here. Um, I'm going to do something kind of crazy. I'm going to upload two really different images. Um, it's not really the ideal for what this is made for, but I think it'll help show sort of like kind of how it works and kind of how it like kind of fails. So let me just grab like two of these Kung Fu images here. Let me find a couple that are like fairly legible. Oh, let's grab one of these. Uh, well, let's do it with one person. Sorry, let me just jump ahead here and see if I can find some good imagery. That's a good one. So let's do that one. So we want to interpolate between, let's say, these two images. So we're going to interpolate from this person to this person. Now, this would be really hard to do with something like StyleGAN because we don't really have a StyleGAN model that's a body. You know, projecting into those spaces is kind of hard. So, like, this is probably a really good example of like something that I think this is a good application for. So, once you've uploaded your two images, then you've got a times to interpolate. Um, and I'm still trying to figure out exactly how this works. Uh, two is really straightforward. Two is just like one frame between these two. Um, but the more you crank this up, uh, the the more frames you'll get. And obviously, if you want something video like, you kind of want to crank this up pretty high. Um, I believe it should go. I think I've seen versions where it goes up to eight, but it looks like the cap here might be five. Um, but anyway, you turn that up, and then you just hit Submit. And this is going to run over here for just a little bit of time. I think it's going to take about a minute and a half um, based on previous experience. So while this uploads, let me talk a little bit about Hugging Face Spaces. Um, so I'm really excited about Hugging Face Spaces, in part because the reality is Runway has sort of committed to focusing more on their uh, video tool and a lot less on sort of like taking... Um, ML projects that have been sort of released to the public and building those into their ML space tool. Um, so actually, Hugging Face has sort of become kind of a cool little tool that is kind of mirroring that and that it has like a pretty simple, straightforward GUI um, and it works fairly well. And even cooler than that, it's like already linked to all of the models that you would want to set this up with. So you can go ahead and check out the GitHub repo. You can read the paper. Um, and it's also free. Um, or at least I haven't run into a pricing system yet. Maybe that'll change in the future. But um, it's a really nice interface. I'm going to do more um, demos using this. Um, and there's our video. So I'm going to do more demos using this just to sort of like show off a little bit more because I know a lot of people are not like super comfortable using Colab just yet. Um, and I think, you know, go check out some of my Colab videos because I think it's really how you get the most power out of these tools. Like this is kind of limiting and I'll talk about, there is a Colab notebook for this that we can look at um, at a later date. Um, but it's kind of nice that it's just like really simple and straightforward and you don't have to pay for it. So um, using this tool, I've been able to make this little video so we can go ahead and see what happens here when I hit play. So this is an example of this version not working well. Um, 
you know, I've got other examples where I've found that it does work fairly well. Um, you know, the, the goal here or the ideal here would be that like this, this model could learn that here's a body and here's a body. And what you really want to do for interpolation is interpolate body to body. Um, my guess is that it, what it's really finding is it's finding this sort of like dark space here and it's trying to interpolate from the dark space to the, to this body. Um, so we get this kind of like weird morph where it like doesn't really work well. So this is an example of it not working particularly well. Um, the, ex the other example they have down here, which, um, you could, uh, just by clicking on it, automatically update it to, um, is showing you sort of two similar portraits and being able to interpolate between them. So let me just download this video real quick. And why don't we try this version and see if this works better. So just by clicking on that, which is pretty cool, it'll show you that like, you know, here's this child in this view and here's it smiling. And obviously like, you know, the hope here is that because we've got two really simple um, images that are fairly similar, um, we should get something that interpolates really simply. Let's go ahead and hit submit and just try this again. Um, I also like that it kind of tells you like how long it thinks it's going to take um, based on the previous training. Um, it's like a nice little detail. So um, also, if you haven't checked out Hugging Face, Hugging Face, um, my like my knowledge of them is really more in the NLP world. Um, they've done a lot with sort of natural language processing models that have that they've made publicly available and and let people use. But they're definitely expanding and they're doing lots of this like cool stuff now with um, having this sort of inner this web interface that allows you to quickly make um, tools based on you know uh, existing uh, GitHub repos. So. Um, I'm definitely excited to see where the Spaces um, product kind of goes. Let's see how we're doing with this video. Almost finished. Um, so as I mentioned, there are other tools. I think I've done a demo on Super Slow Mo before. So if you want to check out um, that video, you can find it through my uh, YouTube channel. Um, I don't think I've done one on Rife yet, but um, RAFE is another one that uh, is was, I believe, a little bit later than Super Slow Mo. Um, but I'll definitely say, like, I've started to see people use this, um, especially for, like, um, like some of the clip to VQGAN um, image generation. And, like, it's a nice thing where, you know, the reality is this is a little bit faster than trying to generate every single individual frame in, um, in a clip notebook. So in this case, like, one thing you could do is you could generate a video that's maybe, like, twice as fast as you want it to be and then bring it into uh, film and slow it down. And the nice thing about that is also that it's going to add a little bit more smoothness into uh, your no into your animation. So if you've done any with, with clip animations, you'll know they're a little like um, noisy and they're not as like smooth as you might be. And film is kind of like nice at adding some clear smoothness um, into your tool. So maybe it's worth checking out. All right, let's try our, our child here. I mean, that's like this is obviously them cherry picking this, but that's pretty good. That's pretty amazing that it's able to do that. So, you know, this is the ideal goal, right? Like you feed two images that are close to each other, but not um, perfectly close to each other. And it's able to interpolate between them. My demo before was like two very different images and it clearly didn't work that well. But that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so actually, uh, so that's film. You can go ahead and check it out. Um, I'm going to do a separate tutorial. Um, you know, your, might, your first question might be like, this is great. It gives me one to two images. But what if I have a whole video I want to slow down? So I'm going to do a, a demo on that next time um, on using film in the in a collab notebook. Um, so you can actually see how to upload a video and, and slow it down that way. So you can look forward to that. Um, but hopefully maybe you have some fun playing with this in the meantime. Um, and if you're interested in more Hugging Face space um, demos, please let me know and I'll be sure to do more of them. All right. Till next time. Thanks.